Hi, I'm here with James, Principal Hardware Engineer from Ultraleap, and we're at CES. Um, they're showcasing their haptics, and James is going to give us a little overview of what they're showing. Sure, so what we have here is a typical example of one of our development kits. It's an array of ultrasonic transducers, and the uh, array is working as a phased array. It's creating a high-pressure focal point on your hand. Uh, that pressure is, being in, is uh, triggering in the receptors in your hand, and then your brain is interpreting that as a sense of touch. Um, with, a, with, a set of, with a software example like we have here, the end user can actually develop any kind of their own sensations. They can target at any point of the hand. They can uh, play around with the intensity, the shapes, the size, uh, attach it to inputs and outputs. So get a really good idea of what we're, uh, what we're about, basically. We have another system over here, which is actually uh, representing an automotive interface. So that's our main focus at the moment, is replacing automotive interfaces in cars. Because as the buttons and dials are already being removed from cars, yeah. you're, you're left with just a large touch screen. It's actually very complicated to navigate a lot of menu systems. You're taking your eyes off the road while you're doing that. So with our system, basically, the idea is that you'll be able to hold out your hand. The system will find your hand anywhere in the car, give you positive feedback that it's found your hand, and then you can confidently manage uh, navigate the menu systems uh, while keeping your eyes on the road. So, uh, yeah, we have multiple demos which are showing that. Okay, yeah. very cool. So how is that different from your competitors? So actually, we don't have many competitors in this space. Uh, we are literally the only uh, uh, company which is providing a mid-air haptic solution. Um, uh, we have a lot of pat patents in the area. Um, it's a very proprietary technology. So um, haptics-wise, uh, mid-air haptics-wise at least, we don't have uh, any competitors, basically. Yeah. Very exciting. Okay, and if an engineer was interested in evaluating this technology, how would they go about that? Uh, you would contact our VP of Automotive, uh, Johnny. Uh, we have cards over there, but uh, yeah, we'd work with, through what kind of system you would need, what kind of systems to start you on, because we have basic systems like this, which are monolithic arrays. We have systems over there, which can be tiled into any kind of shape as well, so they can be fitted into rolling chassis. Uh, very useful for concept cars. Uh, have a more in-depth uh, kind of evaluation and after that we work with OEMs tier 1s, tier 2s to actually produce monolithic arrays which are then very well fixed to the environment of the car. We, we have a lot of covering material so we can match the aesthetics of the rest of the vehicle. Uh, and we have several customers which are already at various stages along that and we're looking to get basically into production vehicles within five years. Uh, yeah. Okay, very nice. Is there anything else that you would like to share with the community? Um, I mean, we, yeah, no, uh, you need to really experience it to actually get a good idea of what this is. It's a very strange sensation. You won't have actually felt anything like it before, so yeah, if there's uh, okay. any time left, uh, come, come and visit okay. it. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to try it out and I'll let you know. At this point, we decided to turn the microphone off to avoid any interruption with the signal so I could try the haptics out for myself. And you could really feel it. The only way I could describe it is maybe a tingling sensation all over your hand. As you can see from the demo, I could raise my hand a good few inches away from the demo and I could still feel it and um, the computer screen was still picking up my hand. So very interesting and definitely a good feature in a car for sure.